Welcome to Video Quick Tips, the show that brings you tips and techniques to help you produce better video. I'm your host, Bill Mecca, obviously in a different location this time. It's because I wanted to show you this. This is something I just built in the garage. Very simple. 10 or 12 inch wood disc from Lowe's, about seven to ten dollars. A put that over here. Scrap piece of wood and a lazy Susan bracket that I've attached on here. You need to find the middle of this piece of board, drill a 5 8 inch hole, and then I've got two two by pieces of two by four. Now the key part to this is a rotisserie motor, which a friend gifted to me, so it didn't cost anything. So right now we got some scrap wood, probably about uh, $15 in parts, and then I took the shaft from the rotisserie and cut it down. This, depending upon the height of yours, will be different because it has to go into here and through this. And finding the center of this circle was a little bit of a challenge because, as you can see, this has rounded edges, so trying to get the measurement right to the edge was tough, but I figured it out. So now what do you use this for, Bill? Well, I'm using it for some product shots. So if I can get this through this hole in here and actually put the rotisserie underneath here, line up the holes, if I can see, that looks good. There we go. Now it will spin freely. And what I've got set up here, and I know the lighting on me is pretty bad. This is a flag to block this light off. Small reflector here and a fluorescent softbox on this side. And I'll show you what we can do here. Put that, put this, and two of these. Oh, that one like this, this one like that, this one up over here. Now, find my plug and my outlet, because this motor does not have a switch on it. It's only one speed. You can get variable speeds. You can also build this if you use another piece of wood and use a drill motor and get a band. You can have a belt drive, and then you can use the adjustable speed on your your drill to change the speed of this but this one works pretty good and like I said it cost me barely nothing barely anything so now it will spin at a constant speed and if I'm not here you can see what this will look like So now it's stopped again. As you can see, that can just give you a little bit of movement to what would otherwise be a static shot. Now one of the things you can do with this, and what I did, is to make the background fall to black, because I don't really have that much room. I knocked the exposure down a little bit, so this was basically in darkness. And you can do a little bit more dramatic lighting. But simple one light, reflector, a flag to block off the back, Set up your camera on a tripod, turn this on, and spin it round and round. That's it for this episode of Video Quick Tips. I'm Bill Mecca. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Jersey Devil Soap Works has taken the spirit of the New Jersey Pine Barrens, its pitch pines, cedar streams, and sugar sand roads, and combined it with all natural ingredients and fragrances to produce fine handmade artisan soaps. We take our inspiration from one of the Pine Barrens most popular legends and have tried to infuse that into every bar of luxurious soap we make. Visit JerseyDevilSoapWorks.com. We think you'll agree, it's devilishly good soap.